We're doing a series about reading more literacy. I'm a salesman here. Yeah, you're so you can sell reading. We're fine. <laughs>to read don't you I love to read and um, but I love books you know when I'm busy and I'm on the road I love books you can dip in and out of there's one my friend of mine is a great poet he's also a prison chaplain and his friend they put this book together and it's it's a book about faith but it's not strict or in any sense sectarian or specific it's just whatever religion you are if you're if you're interested in opening up um, that side of your life, your spiritual life, I would read. It's called Lifelines. Do you remember a book that you read as a young man that really opened your eyes, that changed you, or that you loved? I stole books when I was a kid. I'm probably not allowed to say that. <laughs> um, I loved to read and disappeared into books from everything from Moby Dick to, you know, Narnia and, and all that. I am trying to think of I Am Asher Lev. Mm, yeah. I've fallen in love with the paintings and sculpture of Marc Chagall, and I feel that that book is a character very like that, a religious person mm -hmm. who's been told they can't make images, um, and it's the only thing he wants to do. Mm -hmm. so. When you were young, did your parents read to you or sing to you, or is that something y'all did at the same time? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Uh, no, Jen, that, did, that wouldn't have happened. Um, but growing up in Dublin, my dad played opera, and so we had, you know, deafening music. But reading wasn't such a big thing. And I developed my own passion um, for reading in my teenage years. I read a lot of Amer about America. It's part of the reason why I look up to America. I read John Steinbeck. Mm -hmm. I went through then all the way to you know, uh, beat writers, Kerouac. Mm -hmm. uh, I got to know the poet Allen Ginsberg. Mm -hmm. I still read poetry. And um, again, when you're busy, poetry is just, you know, powerful. And now you write poetry. David White, W-H-Y-T-E, is a, is a podcast called Becoming, mm -hmm. uh, On Becoming, which I really recommend. What about to your girls? Did you read to them? Yes, yeah, we read to our girls. We read all kinds of things, from Harry Potter to the Bible. Yeah, the Eugene uh, Peterson version of the Bible we read to our kids. Oh, really? Yeah. I, you probably don't remember, but you sent me uh, a copy of Peter and the Wolf when Mila was born, when my daughter was born. And I absolutely do remember. I, my kids did the illustration with me, and my friend Gavin Friday did the music of the Prokofiev Peter and the Wolf. But did you use it, Jen? I read it. And you know what oh, it said? Wow. The inscription, one of the greatest, said, welcome to the world. There's a lot of work for you to do, but not just yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. I cried. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.